Hello everybody, it's Fu here, and today I'm super excited to talk to you about one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Drampa. Really, really cool Pokemon. I've been waiting to do this video for a while because I love this Pokemon so much. So much, in fact, that I actually bred a shiny one for my birthday recently, wanted to use it competitively, and I thought it was really appropriate for a birthday. You know, it's an old man dragon Pokemon and I was getting older so thought it was really appropriate. So I've got a load of Breedjects, they're all like 5 IV hidden ability Drampars that I'm planning to give away. So if you want to get your hands on one of them, particularly if you're playing Sword and you, it's not even in your game, then stay tuned for details of a giveaway. But I think this Pokemon is super overlooked this generation, it's actually kind of got slightly nerfed because it no longer gets access to Roost but also it's got kind of buffed in the fact that it's got access to this really cool ability that's got better this generation and because of Dexit it's actually the only Pokemon that gets this ability which is really important. But I love this Pokemon because it's so unique, it's got tons of stuff going for it. It's got that Dragon Normal Typing which is completely unique to Drampa. It's got these crazy stats, massive special attack stat, really low speed which makes it a very good Trick Room Sweeper and its bulk is okay too. And then it's got this crazy move pool with tons of special coverage which is amazing as well as some really interesting support options like glare but it's got like dragon moves normal moves fire moves grass type moves electric moves it's got water moves it's got all sorts it's really really powerful and i love using it but i guess the main thrust of this video will be about abilities it's got the berserk ability again completely unique to this pokemon it boosts drampa's special attack when its hp drops below 50 percent which is so good especially for offensive sets on trick room sets you'll probably see this more than anything a lot of the time you run choice specs for example and so getting an extra plus one special attack with choice specs it means that it hits so hard so this thing is a real monster in Trick Room. Alternatively you can run Sap Zipper, it's a bit more of a defensive ability but it also allows you to be immune from Sleep Powder which you see quite a lot in the VGC meta with things like Butterfree and Vileplume running around so that's really neat. But I think that Cloud9 is actually now the most valuable of all of Drampa's abilities. What Cloud9 does is it shuts off weather which in previous VGC metas was huge because you'd have legends like Kyogre and Groudon running around and that was really important to shut down their weather. In most other VGC metas it's also an important issue and VGC 2020 is no different. Though weather isn't like the defining feature of the VGC 2020 meta, it is everywhere. Tyranitar is super common, Pelipper not so common but Torkoal definitely common and you sometimes even see Hail too so that's really cool. And Cloud9 basically just shuts them all down. And why it's so important for Drampa this generation, there are actually two reasons. One is that it's the only Pokemon that now gets it. It used to be like Golduck and Licky Licky and even Rayquaza with Airlock used to get all these things but they're not in the game right now. Only Drampa has this ability and people are overlooking it so when they see a Drampa on the team they won't really think oh no that's a counter to my weather. So that's really cool. You've got a bit of a surprise factor going on and Drampa is great at like shutting down rain teams and, and sun teams specifically because it resists water and fire type moves like Torkoal can do nothing and Torkoal is generally on a trick room team. Drampa's also really slow so Torkoal won't be doing anything and you're actually taking advantage of the trick room as well so it's kind of great against trick room teams and then you're also good against rain teams they can't do too much to you but what's really neat about this is even against the weather which Drampa doesn't necessarily have a great tight matchup against like sand or hail it still is really useful it can make Tyranitar a lot less bulky by stopping it get the sand special defense boost and you can also completely stop Aurora Veil from being set up because Cloud9 negates the hail so that's really interesting. But what's big this generation compared to other generations which didn't happen before is the turn order uh, and how that interacts with like weather sweeper abilities, things like Sand Rush or Swift Swim and Chlorophyll for example. So previously, if at the beginning of your, the turn, if you set up your weather and you had a weather sweeper on your team with one of those abilities, you would pretty much always go first. But now turn order is, it changes during the term. So what that means is if your opponent leads with Tyranitar and Excadrill with Sand Rush, Tyranitar Sand will mean that Excadrill is super fast, so it's probably gonna outspeed on that first turn. But if you switch out into Drampart on the first turn, 
immediately, Sandrush is switched off and Excadrill becomes a lot slower, allowing things like Galarian Darmanitan to then outspeed it and start getting some KOs, which is huge. That's so, so different to previously and it makes Cloud9 even more important, despite whether or not being as prevalent, this is such a big change. So I love using Drampan now because I really don't think that people see it coming. You can catch people by surprise and it's just so fun to use. It's a really niche Pokemon that has this crazy effect. And I've got tons of ways that this mechanic has come into play, but I thought I'd demonstrate it by showing you a rain matchup. And this is actually going up against the stock rain team that you have access to, but I thought it just demonstrated really well how to play Drampa against weather teams to the best of its ability. So here we've got, I've, I've got a pretty good matchup against rain teams with this team because I have a Rotom Wash, which is pretty good against them. But I do have to be careful of Ludicolo, which is a grass type, which the opponent leads with. Once that's gone, I basically can sweep them with Rotom. So turn one, to do this, I switch into my Drampar, go get the Cloud9 activated so Ludicolo Swift Swim is negated, Darmanitan outspeeds, but it's Choice Band Icicle Crash misses, which was huge because I could have taken down Ludicolo turn one and Rotom basically just won then, and I still have my Drampar around. Unfortunately, even without the rain boost, two scolds do take down my Darmanitan. But I have my Drampar here. I'm going to have to get some chip on that Ludicolo. I'm protecting my Rotom because I know that it's my win condition and I don't want it to have to take a grass type move. So what I'll do is I'll just go for some energy balls with my Drampar. I do have the Citrus Berry on it, which means that that Ice Beam is definitely not a two hit KO. And I also have Protect on my Drampa because the whole point of this set is to abuse that Cloud9 so it needs to survive as much as possible. Anyway, I'll just go for another Energy Ball on the Ludicolo. I, I'm really concerned at this stage. I'm down 3-4 and Ludicolo is just such a force to be reckoned with. I think it's Assault Vest so it really doesn't take much damage at all. Um, but thankfully, after two Energy Balls and a Moonblast, this thing has been taken down really low which means that I can play super conservatively and actually switch into my Rotom here um, to preserve Drampa even longer as my Whimsicott's knocked out with Faint. I know that the opponent's probably going to go for another Ice Beam into the slot that I've just switched in Rotom with. And now I'm down like 2-4 with a relatively weak Drampa that's super slow, but I'm, I'm kind of confident that I can take out this uh, Ludicolo with a Max Geyser from a Dynamax Rotom. And once I've done that, I then just have to take out three Pokemon with Rotom. So there's still quite a lot to do. I don't know if I could do it because I have to take so many hits, but I'm gonna try because Rotom is, is very good against rain, but it really needs this Cloud9 support right now. So anyway, the um, Raichu is going for Thunders, which it should really miss because Cloud9 is there. So hopefully that would happen. Um, but thanks to, I don't know if the special defense drop mattered from earlier, but I am able to take down Ludicolo with a Max Geyser. Probably did come into play there actually. I have to worry about um, Raichu's Lightning Rod ability. So that's actually gonna be my next priority, taking down Raichu um, with the Max Geyser. And I did actually set up Rain, but obviously Cloud9 was on the field, so it's not really taking effect now. Apart from that it is time for Drampa to go down. It served its purpose, and actually I will benefit from Rain as much as the opponent now, seeing as though I've got my Max Geysers to fire off, and it's their only Swift Swim Pokemon is Barraskewda that already outspeeds Rotom, so it really isn't as crucial to have Cloud9 on the field anymore. So I can go for the Max Geyser into the Raichu, and it's not Focus Sash, I can just take it out which is fantastic, but I know that the Pelipper is Focus Sash, so what I'm going to have to do is take a plus one Max Knuckle from this Barrascuda and also take hits from the Pelipper because I know that I can't take it out first turn. But now my priority is to get rid of the Barrascuda because it's got that attack boost, I need to take it out, and thankfully um, I can take it out in one hit despite its Dynamax um, HP because Rotom, Rotom is kind of powerful and this is an offensive Rotom. So now I just have to take down the Pelipper. I'm concerned that it's going to be doing too much damage, but looking at that damage, I think it did about 37 with the rain boosted Scold, which I resist, um, but it does have Hurricane 2. So I'm not sure 
like I'm not sure what they're going for. I thought I maybe should try to stall out rain turns, but turns out I'm not going to be able to. It doesn't run out. So I have to go for Thunderbolt here and take a Hurricane. If this Hurricane knocks me out or confuses me, that's bad news. Fortunately, it doesn't need that. I live on 4 HP and can then take out this Pelipper with a Thunderbolt. And this match only came this close because I missed my Icicle Crash on turn one with that Drampa play that the opponent completely didn't see coming. That is the power of Drampa. It managed to last through most of the battle. It was so crucial shutting off the opponent's weather capabilities. And if, if the first turn play with the Drampa came to fruition then that match would have been easy peasy because I would have taken out their Ludicolo first turn nothing could have taken out my Rotom and uh, Drampa would have still been healthy so I'd have had real control of that match so it was just unfortunate run ice punch guys <laughs> it just hits but anyway that's that's by the by I think this demonstrated how to use Drampa like use it conservatively when you're playing against a uh, weather team because just having Drampa sitting on the field is amazing just it gracing us with her presence is so important. And so I always run a really bulky Drampa with Protect because even if it doesn't get attacks off, that's fine. Like a lot of the time I don't see Drampa getting the knockouts, but that's fine because the Cloud9 is really the reason why you want to use it. So I hope I've convinced you to use Drampa. And if I have, and you want to get your hands on a really powerful one, then I'm gonna do a giveaway over on my Twitter. So I've got like a box full of five IV hidden ability Drampas that you definitely want. I know that you want it. So go over, follow me on Twitter tomorrow, 22nd of January at around 7 p.m. GMT. I will tweet out a link code and I will just be matching with people, linking with people and trading them a Drampa. Um, that's, I found, the most efficient way to do it. So if you want to get your hands on one of them, you'll come over there and we'll do some trading there. Obviously, if you like this video, leave a like and consider subscribing for more of this content. All that's left to be said is I've been through, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.